Hello and welcome back. My name is Stefano and today we're going to be comparing the ER605 V1 to the ER605 V2. There's not actually a whole lot of changes between the two, but I did want to kind of show you guys uh, when you're shopping online um, how to differentiate the two aside from just the box art itself. Uh, because sometimes you'll get a picture of the box on some online ad, but then you'll end up with this one and uh, who knows, right? So let's go ahead and open both of these. Actually, let's take a look at the outside boxes first to show some of the differences. And then we'll take a look at what's inside and talk about some of the other uh, things. So right off the bat, uh, there isn't too much that is different on the backs. The ER601 uh, V1, so version one, has this a uh, little blurb here about zero touch provisioning on the back of the box and the V2 seems to lose that little blurb. Otherwise, um, there's really not too much of a difference. Now, if we take a look at the bottom um, and try to compare the SKUs or the model numbers, the, this is where the biggest changes are, okay? So we have the versions, the hardware version actually listed on the bottoms of the box, uh, if you will. So that way you know what you're getting into. But, but otherwise, there's not too many other identifiers uh, letting you know which one's V1 and V2. All right, opening the boxes. So I'm gonna start with the ER605 uh, V1. They're pretty much packaged identically. And then I'm gonna open this version two here. Uh, both come with a set of manuals and a, a Publix notice. Content wise, these things are absolutely different in every way. So not only of course are the routers different, but of course the the rest of the stuff in here is different as well, like the power bricks. So the uh, version two power brick uses slightly more power or provides more power actually than the version one, more than that later. And then of course the ethernet cables are even different. I'm colorblind. I believe this is a greenish color for the version one ethernet cable or like a light gray. And then the VR2 uh, router has white. And then even the feet are different. How cool is that? So the V2 feet are much thicker than the V1 ones. <laughs> they are a lot more round. Uh, so that's pretty much uh, the differences content wise between the two. Uh, a lot has actually changed, surprisingly. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the physical differences between the two hardware versions, V1 and V2. Of course, on the front face here, the biggest striking difference is of course the LEDs and the addition of the USB port on version two. So this USB port allows you to connect to mobile hotspots uh, via 3G or 4G from whichever wireless carrier you so choose or have available in your area. And then of course, the next biggest notable changes are the differences in the lettering for the WAN and LAN ports. So specifically, ports two and three are now the WAN and LAN ports and four and five are now LAN ports. Um, of course, these can be reconfigured in the software as you see fit. But um, that is now uh, the layout at least has changed on the front face. Also on the rear, uh, while they do look identical, one of the things that has also changed is actually the power, which a lot of people probably wouldn't think anything of. But the version one actually uses nine volts and 0.85 amps, while version two uses 12 volts and one amp. So that's the biggest change physically with both of these devices and also the bricks have slightly changed. The power bricks have slightly changed as well. The version two is now slightly bigger, uh, I'm guessing to help supply those 12 volts and one amp, while the version one is slightly smaller. And of course they are labeled pretty much identically with the model number and the outputs being uh, pretty much the biggest changes. Software wise, the biggest changes between the two um, are obviously of course have to do with the 3G um, connection, the 3G slash 4G connection on the front. Otherwise they are pretty much dang near identical and both support the same features, of course with exception to the uh, wireless connection or backup if you will, the wireless backup connection to the cloud if you will. Um, so yeah, otherwise not really too much has changed except um, physically, lots of physical changes. And with all that being said, I want to thank each and every one of you for watching, and I will see you all next time. Cheers.